I'm going to introduce this video by sharing a screen and just playing about 40 seconds of silent video. Having played that, that's the incident where a, an attack on a former nursing home building in County Dublin. Now, there is a discussion to be had in Ireland about the amount of immigration there, and I can definitely understand why people are concerned about the number of people arriving, which is quite large for a very small country, which has a small population, which has been decimated time and time again by its immigration itself and by events like Angora Moor, which is what they call in Britain the Great Famine, except I won't use that term, and I'll only use it once to, just to explain the reference. A fire broke out at St. Bridges Nursing Home in Crooksling near Brithouse earlier this morning. Um, Dublin Fire Brigade worked to contain the fire throughout the day. Apparently this took six fire units and around 40 people. Well, that was great. That was an intelligent blow for Ireland you stuck there. Really in the tradition there of Pierce and Wolf Tone, you can imagine Michael Collins' spirit there chucking in, a, chucking in a bit of fire into the nursing home. It's not exactly like burning down the Black and Tans barracks in the anglo War of 1919 to 21 or something similar. You burnt down a nursing home. Even if it was not in use, you burn it down just on the rumour that some refugees might have been housed in it. One, you might have killed someone doing it. Two, it's been burnt down on rumours and gossip. This is what the, this kind of idiocy is encouraging. Mind you, I won't say the government has been very helpful because they seem to have done, and I'll take off my headphones for this, they've done that to the locals in response to their concerns, they seem to have characterised the locals of the small villages and towns of Ireland as thick cultures who are not to be listened to. They do have concerns that are worth listening to, and obviously, if you live in a small village of, say, a thousand people, and you introduce 300 people from another culture, it will cause an issue. It does not mean naturally that everybody in the village is a, is a massive bigot or racist, but there will be a culture clash and a culture camp. This little picture of a church I use behind me all the time is from the village where some of my own family came from. And that village is hasn't got many people in it. If you suddenly chuck 300 people in there, it would cause quite a lot of stress. There's a, a couple of shops, a couple of pubs, couple of other things there. It's not exactly very huge. Um, so you'd cause quite a lot of cultural upset. <sighs> the people in Dublin seem to be not considering this. They seem to be existing in a divorce reality. And if, if even someone as far left and tree huggy as me can see that, I'm beginning to think the people in, in the government up there in Dublin, in the Doyle, seem to be existing in some reality, divorced entirely. And somebody needs to put their hand in front of their face and do that and go, hello, chaps, you know. You cannot possibly have immigration of 100 to 200,000 people a year in a country of 5.2 million people. It is not sustainable. And you will end up with full-scale writing non-stop if this carries on. But <sighs> it's a conversation that seems to be one nobody wants to hear. You can't stop it by cuddly talk. Uh, and even I'd accept the same conversation needs to be had here in Britain about just how much immigration is sustainable. However, that conversation is being observed by people on the far right who are using it to demonize everyone from Muslims to Caribbeans to, to black people. And you're seeing people 
pop up on channels all over YouTube. Their idea of intelligent debate is to type Umbongo, he drinks it in the Congo, down on comment sections and stuff of equal charm and wit, and to start typing stuff like black people, they never invented anything, and equally, shall we say, inane, I'll go with that word, inane nonsense, rather than actually trying to have any intelligent conversations about it. It's not help when you have people sort of who try and monetize that by producing an increasingly large number of channels which seem to try and suggest that black people are not even the same as white people, are possibly separate species. And yes, I'm looking at a certain channel run by a mustachioed individual um, who writes articles on that. I expect, unfortunately, to see rather more than less of this in Ireland unless somebody actually wakes up to the situation and actually sits down and talks to the local people and stops the growth in small far-right parties, accelerating there as a result.